Hi, I'm Murphy, and this is my channel, Murphy's Every Whim, where I love to talk about books, and I love to be surprised. And I was surprised just now. I'm opening up the surprise boxes that I got at the Planned Parenthood book sale. In a previous video, I said I'd gotten two boxes that were surprise mystery books, and I didn't. And so I was very pleased and surprised when I found out the last box was Westerns. That's exciting. So for $3, I think I would need to find two books in this box that are <laughs> tough tape. Two books in this box that are worth keeping for it to be worth it because you can get Westerns fairly cheap because there are so many of them. When my mother had a used bookstore, Westerns and Harlequin romances were the thing that everybody brought in. All right, let's go. Taggart by Louis L'Amour. I've only read two Louis L'Amours. I enjoyed them. I actually called the last one I read a comfort read, The Keeper. Taggart was riding like hell through the red heart of Apache country. A bounty hunter, the deadliest lawman in the West, was hot behind him. Then Taggart met a girl. They always meet a girl. She had a mule pack train loaded with pure raw gold. Oof. And the Apaches were on her trail. Taggart could leave her for the Apaches and get away to safety. That whole, I don't have to run faster than the bear. I just have to run faster than you. Or he could stay. Guess what he did? Definitely a keeper. Ooh, another one. Louis L'Amour, Guns of the Timberlands. Clay Bell had outfought renegades, rustlers, and wild animals to build his own spread out on an untamed wilderness. Judd Devitt was rich, powerful, ruthless. He recognized only one law. Take what you can, when you can. Hmm. People of the Longhouse by W. Michael and Kathleen O'Neill Gear. And I don't know this author. It's kind of beefy. I don't know. Dana Fuller Ross, Arizona. Not a keeper. T.V. Olson, The Stalking Moon. That sounds good. George R. Stewart, Ordeal by Hunger. Hints of some famous wagon train disasters. The Gunsmith, and then it says under that, The Reapers by J.R. Roberts. I don't know. I might have to look up J.R. Roberts to see if he or she is any good. Louis L'Amour, Baldry. The name is Baldry. It was a name that caused the most hardened gunman to break out in a cold sweat. Gail Rogers. Nicoa's Woman, formerly The Second Kiss, and soon to be a major motion picture. The Sweeping and Turbulent Love Saga. I'm not sure if I'm interested in a Western romance. Louis L'Amour, Galloway, Hunted Man. Galloway was thinking of Flagon back in these mountains somewhere he was fighting to keep alive, if he was alive, without weapons in a rugged country where the only humans he found were apt to be enemies. His chances of survival depended on himself and his own energies. Louis L'Amour's Hondo. He was a big man, wide-shouldered, with the lean, hard-boned face of the desert rider. There was no softness in him. His toughness was ingrained and deep, without cruelty, yet quick, hard, and dangerous. Whatever gentleness that might lie within him was guarded and deep. Louis L'Amour, son of a wanted man. Louis L'Amour, westward the tide. Louis L'Amour, dark canyon. And Louis L'Amour, over on the dry side. Catherine Kerr, a time of exile. And I'm wondering if this is really a Western. An intricate tapestry of fate, past lives, and unfathomable magic. I think this might be a fantasy. The clothes that they have on are not clothes of Westerns. William W. Johnstone, Wyoming Slaughter, a Cotton Pickens Western. Ah, 
Slaughter in the title. Don't know if I'm interested. Louis L'Amour, The Daybreakers. Another J.R. Roberts from the Des Moines Public Library. This one is The Gunsmith, and below that is Innocent Blood. I wonder if J.R. Roberts had different series. Louis L'Amour, The Man from Skibberdeen. And the last one, Conflict of Interest, Daniel McRae. I would say of the four boxes, surprise boxes, that I've opened up, this one was my favorite. I think these Louis L'Amour westerns are something that I'll stick in all the places that I need, like my purse, my car, at work, <laughs> wherever I need to have a book that I just want to pick up and read for a while. I think that's what that's where they'll go. Definitely worth the $4 for all the Louis L'Amours. I got a bunch of surprise boxes. I will be donating a lot of these books elsewhere. I can't keep them all. I've got to get rid of some of them. I may not ever buy a surprise box of books again. Maybe I'll run across one somewhere. See you next time, maybe? Hopefully? Please? Take care. Really tough tape. The last Des Moines Planned Parenthood book sale after 60 years of sales.